summer activities are changing. Kids are now breaking boundaries for their age, with young people from the age of five years old learning to code during their summer break. In a world where technology is the future, it's never too early to learn how to be a part of it. Every week, the Digital Skills Academy has taken on different groups of children. This week, year one and two pupils were given the opportunity to learn how to enter basic commands into the computer that would allow their very own Lego robots to move. Uh, so we've been doing some builds like roller coasters, um, theme park entrances, cars, loads of different things that would involve the motors and the brain of the computer. Without it, it wouldn't be moving and it wouldn't be going forward or backwards with the car, the motor. So I'm someone who doesn't really understand how to do any sort of coding. How would you explain to me how it all works? Well, I am not very good at coding either, but when I started, I didn't really know what I was doing, but then I sort of understand the motor, so and then I, I keep on forgetting that I had to connect it to the computer, and then it just started going. It's quite fun because we get to experience and build, but the, the only bad thing is when, when you have to dismount it and then you have to break all the builds that you've had fun doing with. I'm just going to put pockets. I'm just going to put it into the pocket. I'm going to press the yellow button so it can move. What does coding mean to you? Um, that, that it can move by its own. Uh, this is the car. And I built like this tower here. It's like a little temple that I made with loads of people and decorations on it. Making the Lego. Yeah? Yes. Yeah? And what was your favourite thing that you made so far? The robot. Well, Samuel, we'd obviously invested uh, over the academic year. Again, it's quite expensive equipment, but again, the kids really find it really engaging. Again, it's, it's building, it's also coding, it's very, it's very hands-on. So you take away the, the dryness of what coding can become. It became a very engaging activity, but at the same time, obviously encouraging them to, to code and not, not just build. Pupils this age don't get a chance to do coding in everyday learning, which is why the Digital Skills Academy is keen to provide them with some exposure. So these were very, the youngest ones, the academic year ones to, to year, year three. They've been just using the, the, the robotics. The thing was um, like an amusement park. So they've been making uh, Ferris wheels, they've been making uh, cable cars, today they're making cars that would, that would take their, their guests from one part of the park to the other. So the theme has, there's been a general theme and obviously that each, each day has been building something different for the, for the actual theme park. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think it does for a child at this age to uh, learn how to do something like this and enjoy it? I think it's, we're giving them an explosion experience that they may not get anywhere else. I think if we look at all of us and where we are in our careers and we picked what we wanted to be, when, when, we, when we grew up, something sparked us off. You know, some event somewhere along the line made us think, I want to do that when I'm older. So the whole point of this is to give them the opportunity to use robotics, coding, engineering, technology, and they're thinking, you know what, this is what I want to do when I'm older. Type in the stuff and then start doing the Legos. And is it something that you like doing? Um, a little bit. Yeah. Do you think you want to do it again? Yeah. Yeah. And do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Yep, an engineer. Career success often centres around the number of skills one has. It's safe to say that knowing how to make a Lego robot by the age of five is a pretty good place to start.